Africa is a beautiful continent that in my opinion is greatly misunderstood because of the Western media. Many of my most memorable travel moments have been in Africa and I'm convinced that it contains the most unique experiences that you can find anywhere on the planet. After visiting 53 of the 54 African countries, I will be sharing with you 5 of my favorites in today's video and we begin with Ethiopia. Ethiopia is a fantastic country. I've been there four times most recently about six months ago and the first thing that jumps out to me is the coffee culture. It's unlike anywhere else in the world. Coffee is everywhere. They claim that it actually comes from the country and they serve it in these tiny little cups and it's so strong you just need one little shot and it will get you going for the whole day. Seriously, the best cup of coffee I've ever had. Ethiopia has incredibly hospitable people, one of the coolest languages I've ever heard. And how do you say thank you? One more time. And no matter where you go in the country, you'll have a good time. Addis Ababa is a vibrant capital city. You can go up north to Semien Mountains National Park where you will feel like you're on top of the world. You can visit the rock churches in Lalibela and you can visit the amazing castles in Gondar. And last but not least, the Omo Valley is where you can find the most stunning and beautiful displays of humanity. All right, my next favorite African country that I want to tell you about today is Algeria. The first thing that comes to mind when thinking about Algeria is Jamila, which is the ancient Roman complex city that was built thousands of years ago. This temple was built in 229 AD. Situated in the mountains and there's literally nobody around. It blows any other Roman ruins I've seen out the water. It is just amazing. I love the city of Constantine. Uh, Constantine existed from 3,000 years ago. It's called the city of three bridges because of the picturesque bridges that connect the various hills, valleys, and ravines that the city is built on. Love has now taken me to the big mosque. What's it called? It's called Amir Abdul Qadir Mosque. And I got my traditional Islamic outfit on. Do I look good? Yeah, he is a Muslim now. When you explore the capital city of Algiers, you have to promise me to visit the Casbah. It's where you can find the remains of the citadel, the old mosques, and the Ottoman-style palaces, and all the traditional urban structures deeply intertwined with the sense of community. There's about 40,000 people living there today. It's so hilly with these narrow alleyways. Just an amazing place, and Algeria should be on your bucket list if it is not already. That leads me into my next favorite African country, which is Kenya, home of the best safaris in the world. There's actually 24 national parks in Kenya, so you can't go wrong. My favorites are Amboseli in the south, as well as Masai Mara, where you can see the great wildebeest migration. It's one of the most stunning things that you can see anywhere in the world. For all of you beach lovers, you can head out to Mombasa. I actually haven't been myself, but I know it's the same coast as Mogadishu, Somalia, and I can confirm that it's amazing with green water and white sand. Nairobi is one of my top 20 favorite cities in the world. I've been there about four times. It's so vibrant, so many things happening, great nightlife, bars, cafes. But if you want a different vibe, head west to the smaller town called Kisumu. It's right on Lake Victoria. I spent a week there about a couple years ago, and I have fantastic memories of going to see the hippos, eating freshwater fish from the villagers and just having a wonderful time. Standing at the equator in Kisumu, Kenya. Next up we have Somalia, a country that many people are scared to visit but after visiting twice I have many great things to say about the country and we begin in Somaliland. You want to welcome welcome to Somaliland. Somaliland. One more time. Welcome to Somaliland. So Somaliland is a very safe, semi-independent region in the northern part of the country. It is visa-free for most nationalities, and there are many incredible things to do there that I really enjoyed. One of my favorite things to do was go to the Las Gale rock art, which are like these cave paintings in the middle of nowhere. It's these hieroglyphics that have been around for thousands of years, and literally I was the only person there. It was super cool to experience. Seriously, there's nothing around here except for this cave. Also, we took a road trip north to the coastal city of Berber where we saw the amazing beaches and had some delicious seafood. And finally, the capital city of Hargeisa is wonderful. The streets really feel like you're in a time machine back hundreds of years, the way that they're living. I really enjoyed going to the camel market and seeing how that whole thing happens. It's really fascinating. The camel side is all males, male camels and male people selling the camels. And on the other side is the women. 
with the goats and the sheep. Goats and sheep. And finally, if you go south in Somalia, you'll visit the real capital city called Mogadishu, which is quote unquote the most dangerous city in the world. I went there about six months ago with my buddy Lee, and it is definitely dangerous. But if you can look past that, you will find very friendly people, shisha bars everywhere, bustling markets, chaos on the streets, tuk tuks everywhere, kids playing soccer in the alleys. But most impressive to me about Mogadishu were the beaches. Yes, it's true, Mogadishu, Somalia has the number one best beach that I have seen in Africa. The fifth and final African country that I'm gonna tell you about today that I love is none other than South Africa. So Johannesburg gets a horrible reputation for being dangerous, and yes, parts of it are dangerous, just like LA or Chicago, but I really love the vibe there, the craft beer scene, amazing coffee, exciting markets, and restaurants that are fantastic. Don't forget to try Biltong, which is kind of like a beef jerky you can buy on the side of the street. Head north from Joburg to Kruger National Park, which is my personal favorite park in all of Africa. There you can see the big five. I actually camped out in little tents without a fence around us, so the elephants were like literally coming right into our little campground. Out of the 10 or so safaris I've been on, this was absolutely my favorite, just being immersed with the animals right there. Everybody raves about Cape Town, and unfortunately I have not been there yet, but it's really high on my list. If you like Indian food, you could head to the coastal city of Durban, where you will find a massive Indian population. And also another thing I really enjoyed in South Africa was the Sani Pass Mountains on the border of Lesotho. There you can find stunning views of the valley and very peaceful communities that are living there. All right guys, that is the end of the video. It's really hard to pick top five favorite countries anywhere. I also love Namibia, Egypt, Tunisia, Ivory Coast, Morocco, Mauritius, and the list goes on. So there will probably be a sequel to this video at some point, but that's all I want to share with you today off the top of my mind. I hope you enjoyed. Comment below if you've been to any of these countries. I wanna hear your thoughts, feedbacks, and opinions on Africa. I'm itching to get back because Africa just pulls you in. It's that incredible. So with that being said, have an awesome day, guys, and I will catch you later. See ya. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.